Hey guys, it's Norm at the Gamer here. Um, this is a new series I like literally start uh, just thought of like 15 seconds ago. A Normacian debate. Not sure that's gonna be in the title, but you guys get my point. It's gonna basically be a debate about whatever the subject is, and the subject today is gonna be Journey, which is a new PlayStation Network title that just released by that game company. And me and my friend um, Z Man Z Man 20. Uh, Z Man 100 on 100. Uh, I mean, Z Man 100 on YouTube. You may know him. I don't know. Check out his channel. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have our debate. Go ahead and say what you think about this game. Zaylin, I'm just gonna say his name. Well, first I'll say that I've looked at some gameplay of it, and when I first saw it, I didn't know what to think about it. I thought it was gonna be like, you know. The character runs, and you gotta have to deal with enemies. You gotta fight his way toward this mountain. But all I see is that you just make your way to it. Like basically, I read that you that you meet a player online, but y'all don't talk or anything. All the basically the main objective is to get to the mountain. Personally, I think this game is boring. That's just my main opinion. I know there's people out there that like it, but. I honestly think that this game looks boring because all you're doing is just going to the mountain and then when you get there then you're done. And that's basically pretty much it how I think about it. Well, as we kept discussing earlier, I wish we kind of talked, uh, like I started recording and talking about this then so you can kind of see more debate to it, but uh, we'll see how far, how far as this goes. But I mean, of course, I completely disagree with you since I have played the game. Of course, you've seen gameplay and all that stuff, and it looks boring, and you see you see what the plot and jet of the game is, is. But when you actually play the game and beat the game, which is only an hour and thirty minutes, I mean, it's a great fifteen dollar purchase. I mean, you see IGN and all these other great journalists um, that reviewed it, giving nines and tens. I mean, that's really I mean, telling other players something. But think about it, Cameron. But it's like I said, you get into a mountain. What's the point? And you told me that you're running away from giant monsters. There needs to be at least some action in this game. I mean, that you say that this is a relaxing game, but there need to be at least some type of action in this. Well, this game and also Flower is a good example. At like the middle part of the game. There's gonna be some suspenseful part, parts, like on Flower, it starts getting, it starts raining, and with Flower, it's always sunshine and everything, you know, everything's happy in the beginning, and then it starts raining, and there's a whole bunch of electric towers falling down to the, uh, on the ground, and it can, like, hurt you and all that stuff, it's like, oh, shit. It's getting all depressing and scary and all that stuff, suspenseful, I should say, and then with Journey, you're not, you're not in the outside sand, you start going like in this underground place it's dark and everything and then you start seeing these giant worm things that have red eyes and everything and they start searching for anything that's in sight and they see you they're gonna start chasing you and everything and this is it just gets crazy and intense i mean it's not just that peaceful feeling the whole time at parts it, it changes the mood but for the most part it's peaceful and it ends up being a great game and that's what that game company really does they make those type of games. They try to change the mood, and it's just a little game. I mean, they're an indie company, so they don't release sixty dollar ti big titles like you know, Halo, Gears of War, you know, all that stuff. They make yeah. them cheap, ten to twenty dollar games that people will enjoy. Now, of course, from what I see here, that doesn't seem like your type of game. I just say, don't worry about the game. Just get that out of your head. But if it's just you know, if you hear so much about it and you're kind of tired of it, I think you should give it a shot. I mean, you have a PlayStation. Um, I wouldn't say buy it. I don't know. I mean, I have my playthrough up, obviously. Just watched the whole thing of that. Of course, I have my own little silly storyline going. It's kind of random. But basically, you're seeing all the gameplay for the game. I think it's a different experience if you're actually playing it than watching it. But, I mean, hopefully you guys like it just by watching it. But I don't know. I mean, that's what I really got to say yeah. about it. I mean, it's a that's cheap game thing. by you that game it's company, like, so. You said it's an hour and 30 minutes long. That's really a short game if you mm -hmm. think about it. But look, and you say, no, I read that it said it's about two strangers who meet online. They don't know who they are, how old they are. 
All they know is there's another human being. The way, only way plants can communicate audibly with each other is a word with a wordless shout. Like, what does that even mean? I don't understand because I haven't played the game, but you have. But to me, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, I don't know. Well, that like, game company, tough. they have never really messed with online capabilities in their games before. Because the only games I know they made is Flow, Flower, and Journey. And Journey is the first game to use online capabilities and since they're new at this they thought they should try something new and innovate innovative so what they did is you know did that what you just said but i mean in a way it doesn't sound great because as we know um online plays basically where you're communicating and just basically it's ah, i don't know how to explain you know what i'm saying just you know who they are just by their little name um, if you see their game, of course, you communicate with them so you guys can work co cooperatively or whatever. And, you know, just a whole bunch of online stats that helps you, you know, get through the online um, mode you're playing in. Now, with this game, no name, no voice chat, no text bots or anything. It's just you run into a player randomly. It's like, oh, okay. And you guys work together to go through the journey i mean it doesn't sound like much but trust me it's actually pretty cool and at the end of the game in the credits right after the credits actually shows you the players that you um came across and i thought that was really cool i mean of course you're curious who you play who you played with but at the very end it tells you i mean to me it's cool it's only a 15 dollars game no big deal so it doesn't bother me at all well, Cam, I guess you right. I mean, I haven't played it yet, so I guess I can't judge about what I see. You know, like they say, can't judge the book by its cover, but hey, that's just what I see. But okay. I don't know. One of these days, I might try it, but then again, I might not. So uh, It's no big deal. It's not a game you must play, but it's a experience, for sure. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Any last-minute things to say? Uh, yeah, y'all need to subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, Zman100, I haven't released any new videos this week, I usually release them every week, and, you know, just check them out, I'm, I'm, I'm an inspiring rapper that's trying to make it out there, I hope y'all like me, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And one thing I want to say, I do want to apologize for my voice, because I just realized my microphone's not plugged in, but, uh, um, computer mic should be able to hear me and I remember on the first little clip I was trying to post for journey I'm pretty sure the mic wasn't plugged in then but I knew you guys could hear me so it's probably the same type of quality voice I use in the first part of my journey playthrough which I kind of find that you know tone of voice well not tone of voice but just the voice volume kind of annoying cause, um, compared to the actually having the mic on but yeah you guys pretty much get the point but uh yeah um i don't got much else to say um i would like this game to be on vita if possible even flower but uh, that was just a random thought since we're on the subject but uh i got nothing else to say so all right uh, i guess we'll end it here thanks again for watching um tell me what you guys think about this new little series normacian debate whatever it's going to be titled on the top um yeah, make sure to subscribe for more gaming news, unboxing, game footage, and whatever else I bring out in the future. Uh, rate this video if you liked it or not, and uh, comment and tell me, like I said, what you guys think and any suggestions and uh, requests or stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for the support. Catch you guys later. See ya.